Hey guys, welcome to the installation of Lini Joy 16 on Samsung Galaxy J6 Plus, SMJ 610F. So uh, you can actually also install this on Samsung Galaxy J4 Plus and also it's ported from that ROM. So uh, I'll just show you a quick review of uh, the ROM. And uh, also I would like to thank someone from Instagram and also the creator of this ROM and I'll leave those profiles in the uh, description below and also you need to download some files uh, which I have compressed into a zip which is uh, really necessary for you to install in your system so um, there are some things I need to tell you and I will tell uh, to you on the way so uh, let's start so go to about phone then to the software information so in the software information you need to search for this built number so yes I just found it right now here it is so I'll just tap seven times onto it so I can enable the developer options on in the device so yes let's go there and um, let's go back and yes here it is so yeah the, the developer options is right over there so uh, that's the OEM unlocking and uh, you need to turn it on uh, it's already on for me so if you uh, would like to turn that on then it's compulsory to turn it on actually so you need to draw, draw your pattern over there and uh, it will ask you to format your device so guys before you begin you need to back up all your important files from the device and uh, that's up to you and uh, here we are so let's connect this to the computer okay now connect the micro usb cable after switching the phone off and uh, i'll show you okay power off draw the pattern and yes it would just take three seconds to one and yeah you'll hear the vibration and yes uh hold down the volume up and down simultaneously and then connect this computer i mean this micro usb cable which is connected to the computer you should connect it to the computer itself not any other thing and uh, here it is you need to press this volume up now let's press the volume up okay now let's leave that aside and uh, okay now we are in Odin, so uh, if you want to know what Odin is, it's uh, in the uh, file I provided in the description below. It's a zip file, you need to extract it via 7-zip, WinRAR, or um, Windows actually has one. So here it is. These are the files which are necessary to be placed onto our micro SD card. So you need to copy that first. I've already done it, so I'm just not doing it right now. So yes. And uh, that file, I mean that folder over there, is uh, for users who need root on their custom ROM. So yes, that's a bit com confusing for somebody. And uh, here we are. Now what we need to do is, we need to go to Odin. So um, I'll just exit it right now to show you where Odin is. There it is. Then I double click on it and hit OK and select. BL that's for bootloader and uh, first I'll go to uh, AP and select the recovery file okay where's the recovery file it's in this J6 uh, plus folder inside this twrp.tar okay now we need to select the bootloader only if you want root on your custom ROM it's not compulsory okay or else if you don't want it you can just uncheck that uh, I mean that uncheck that box right over there yes since I need it I'll just check it so it says um, yeah we need to go over here and um, uncheck auto reboot and now let's go back to the log and it says added now let's start okay now the recovery and the boot image is flashed boot image needs to be flashed only if you want root access so here we are now uh, it's stuck on this so we need to press the volume down and power simultaneously for seven seconds 
uh, until the screen turns off. When the screen turns off, you need to press the volume up to enter the recovery. So if you don't do this, your phone will be RMM locked for seven days. So you don't want that. So we are currently on the, you know, okay, you need to swipe to uh, allow modifications. So TWRP takes them takes some time. So you just need to, you know, do that. So you need to wipe. First of all, go to the data. And uh, you need to repair this file system. So select that. And uh, you need to change the partition to ext or fat. And then change it back to ext4. You see that? Yes, that's it. Okay. Now we'll go back and back and back and put this install. And in the downside, you need to select the micro SD card and hit OK. So here is the Lineage OS 16 file. So uh, we got the apps to flash to if you want Google apps. Then you need to add more zips and uh, select the, I'll go for the stock.zip, the app stock. Aroma, is, uh, Aroma also takes too much time to flash. So I'll just come from the flash and uh, I'll just fast forward it for some time. So I'll just keep it down for some time and then flash forward it. So uh, yes, this almost takes about 15 minutes to complete and guys you just need patience and um, you don't need to panic. And here we are, okay, my device turns off um, like a lock screen, DWP, DWRP has a lock screen, I don't know. So now let's, yeah, everything's done right now. So. Uh, what should I do just right now? So that's it. Device is done. And yes, I think everything is okay. So I'll just go back and uh, flash this file. And yes, that's the magic zip file. So flash that if you need root access. To flash this, you also need that patched no, image that we have used in the Odin as the bootloader so here we are so what we need to do now is we need to go to advanced file manager and then go over to the external SD card and you know that media I mean that XML file you need to copy that and paste that onto system copy that onto system and uh, yeah no you need to go upper level and you need to copy that to this vendor so okay there's nothing there so you need to go over to mount and mount the vendor partition okay so now let's go back to the file manager and select that one copy that and uh, paste that to this vendors vendor i'll show you okay it's root and then vendor Vendor and then go. I'll show you. Okay, that's system partition. Yeah, now you need to copy that file from there, that XML file to the vendor and then etc. You need to paste that with that blue box right over there and you need to swipe to confirm. Done. So you just need to reboot the system and do not install should be chosen always. If you mm, so swipe to install TWRP, your device won't boot at all. So do not install TWRP. So it says kernel right over there. So yes, I think it might take a little bit time to boot up. So let's keep that aside and just have a look at it okay here we are I think it's because it's the first boot of all lineage OS okay I think it's rebooting for the second time yes now this time it might show the boot loader I mean the boot animation 
Okay. Here it is. So this might take some time, so we just need to wait. Okay, it booted up right now. So I'll show you. I'll just hit on start and uh, do some, you know, the uh, initialization of the device. I'll just skip that one. Continue. Next. Next. Ignore. Exit. Okay. It's booting up. Just take some time. I'm just fast forwarding this right now. So yes. Hmm, I think there are something going in between, I mean under the device. So okay, that's the rest of the setup and uh, I'll just keep all these just just a second but it takes more time than usual so start here we are this is the device so I'll just show you a quick run up of what I'm doing right now okay pixel launcher or you can choose street budget if you want but I'll go with the pixel launcher although the budget is good so here we are so you see two dialers right over there don't you so that might create some confusion so you need to do something so I'll just show you what you should do to remove one of those dialers you just need to go to the settings then you need to uh, enable the developers option so that's over the you know as usual the build number seven times tap on it and yes now go to I mean the system and uh, advanced and at the bottom you'll see the developer options so in there you need to click on that advanced restart now let's go home and uh, hit on this advanced i mean new no, power button and select this restart to recovery so from here what you need to do is okay it's booting up to the recovery here we are right now so do this mount the system then advanced file manager and then go to system and go to this you know the preview apps priv hyphen apps so you need to find this dialer inside this so where's the dialer dialer should be somewhere here yeah there's the dialer so select that and uh, you need to delete this folder so to do that select the delete option right over there and swipe now do not install and yeah your device just rebooted so let's wait for that to reboot i mean to boot up okay it's booting up and it booted up pretty quickly then another was stock room so i'll leave the installation of the stock loan stock room in the above section you, you might see a car right now in the top right and yes there's only one dialer right now and it looks pretty awesome maybe yeah it looks pretty awesome 
so that's it Okay, that's it guys for installing this Lineage OS on the Samsung Galaxy J6 Plus. And don't worry about the J4, J4 Plus straight and right over on the, uh, you know, the same about phone section. It's actually the J6 Plus and I would guarantee that. And also guys, before you're doing this, please remember, remember to back up your data and also to insert the SIM on the second slot. The uh, second slot will only work. And if you um, uh, give it in two SIMs or something, it won't really take it in. So uh, this second slot will be right over here, the bigger one. So uh, that's it guys, uh, subscribe to my channel and also like this video if you find this helpful and also see you soon, goodbye.